Hi, I'm Tom Stone, the Development Manager here at Udo. I'd like to welcome you to this video on our latest release, Dynamic Layers. I'd like to take you through a demonstration for the next couple of minutes on the exciting features in this release. Udo's existing application framework allows you to add video and audio to your iPad editions, but this August, Dynamic Layers will allow you to quickly and easily enhance your editions with the same ease as you would on our online editions using Flash. Dynamic Layers are Udo's latest addition to the framework, and allow you to create regions on your pages where you can pull in content from the web or include it with the edition. You'd use HTML, JavaScript, and CSS to create engaging, dynamic content for all of your readers. This could include, but isn't limited to animation, interactivity, polls, quizzes, ratings, or anything else that you can do in a typical web environment. If you choose to embed this content with the edition, the user can read it even when they're offline. In order to demonstrate this, we're going to use a fictional magazine called Digital Device to show off the iPad's power and the flexibility of Udo's platform. So let's launch the app. So we simply tap on the apps icon on the springboard, we see the loading screen, and then the welcome page of the application. Both of these are brandable, of course, to your brand. In this case, we're just going to use the Digital Device branding. And then we move on to the My Editions page. From here in a live app, of course, we'd see lots of subscriptions, we would see live editions, we'd see editions for purchases, and perhaps free previews. But in this case, we're just going to look at the test edition. So, as we load the edition, we can see animation on the front cover, moving in, followed by the editor's letter page. Again, this can be scrolled, so you can see more content than the page holds. Again, this could occupy the entire page, or even just part of it, like this example. Moving further in, we see more animation on the uh, table of contents. And in this case, on this Galaxy Tab review, we can see a Rate This section. The users could tap on this, and you could feed it back to your servers to see if they like this device or not. Further, we can also do 360 degree views, in this case, of the iPod Touch with full interaction. And moving on to the Blackberry Storm, we can watch a video of the product or a video review. Stopping that, we see more animation on the iPhone 4 page. Again, this is just non-interactive. It's there to, to build engagement with your readers. Lastly, on this, in this case, is a, an online example. We see the Twitter feed being pulled in, in this case of Udo Media's Twitter feed. Again, you could replace this with your own very, very easily. Lastly, a quick note on the tools used in this example. Both traditional web design skills, HTML, CSS, HTML5, and JavaScript were used for animation, or using some of the very new tools that are available and coming onto the market, including Tumult Hype, and the forthcoming Adobe Edge will also be able to do the job quite easily. There are also a few tools available, including Wallaby from Adobe, along with Swiffy from Google, that help the conversion from a Flash animation across to a HTML animation. Finally, if you'd like to get in touch with us or ask them to ask you more questions on the example you've seen here, simply contact ipad at udo.com. And thank you for watching.